Hey, then, buddy, what can I get? Good, yeah. Let me get. No more tanning. Hold on, buddy. The beer's half full. You guys. Beer ain't half full. The beer's half empty. I want to just fill it to the top. Sorry. Not very optimistic. Optimistic. Look at this smart ass over here. Fancy college doing this vocabulary. Buying condoms now. Sick, you trying to con me, bro. What's going on guys? Shane here. I'm Ant. I'm Shaq. So we got a video for you. We're going to talk about how to fight someone in a bar. So I've worked in a bar for about four years. And I saw my fair share of fights. I had to restrain a lot of people. I had to throw people out. So what I've noticed throughout the years was this, that fights don't last long. They're all the same in that they don't last long. They get broken up quick. So I have three tips for you that's going to ensure your safety. All right, guys, my first tip, my first recommendation is if you're going out to a bar, if the bar has a bad reputation or you have a history of getting into fights, don't drink. You don't have to drink. All right, get water instead. Also, to piggyback off of that, a lot of times when guys start trouble with you, when guys start drinking, when, when people start drinking, they get tough. Sort of like YouTube commenters, right? <laughs> they, 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 get, uh, they get these beer muscles. Don't give into it. Don't feed into it. So if someone's, someone's insulting you, someone's giving you a hard time, just stay calm. Just be like, all right, buddy. Because nine out of ten times, the bartender or the, the bouncer or the doorman's going to throw that guy out, and they're going to be like, you weren't starting any trouble. You're fine. So, boom. Fight was avoided. That's your best bet. Second tip is create distance. Keep him as far away as possible. So, a good old-fashioned push will get will do the job, right? If someone's in your face, they're, they're this close to you, and they're screaming at you, give them a put two hands on the chest and violently extend your arms as hard as you can. Put your body into it. Create some distance, right? Like I said, a fight isn't going to last any more than three to seven seconds in a bar before someone, you know, gets in the middle of you or grabs one of you and, and breaks it up. So create your distance. Um, if he comes rushing back, if he comes charging at you, we're going to go into step three, which is use your surroundings. Okay, grab a chair, throw that in between you guys. Grab a table, create some obstacles so he can't get to you. But also, you want to know, you want to be aware of what's going on around you. You want to see if his buddies are around, right, sneaking up behind you or coming from the side and trying to hit you. You got to be aware of everything that's going on. Also, just like the Boss Rootin' video, if you guys have never seen the, the old school Boss Rootin', Rootin' video, he talks about how everything in a bar is dangerous. You can use a beer bottle, you can use a glass, you can use, you know, the, the receipt holders with stab things and, and use those. I don't recommend you doing that because then it gets, you know, into legal issues, but I want you to be aware that your opponent could be concealing one of these at any time. All right, guys, you want to take your training to the next level. You want to learn martial arts. We have opened up our gym. It's an online martial arts gym, MMA gym. We got Muay Thai, boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We got all the different martial arts. You can learn martial arts online on YouTube. It's awesome. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Ant. Check. Fight tips. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>